This show cannot accept the responsibility for the care of your comments, opinions, or thoughts about what we say, do, or who we have on the show. Because we don't give a fuck. But do please leave your comments below on how to make it better, like, and subscribe. Thank you and enjoy the show. Okay. What you trying to do, trying to do at the end of the night? Hey, I'm only here for a short time. Ain't nobody trying to get curved, we just trying to get right. 106 and Clark. We on location at Block 37 upstairs at Iridium the Lab. And we got the homies in town. We interviewing Manzi today. What's up with you, bro? What's good, man? Uh, shit, not too much, man. I need you to tell them what you do real quick. Right now, I'm rapping right now, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Just got off the streets. Farce. I'm not boosting. I'm not selling no white no more. I'm not doing none of that shit. I'm getting real paper now. I'm trying to write these bars. That's what I'm doing. We on tour right now. Okay, what's the name of the tour? Blue Screw Tour. Blue Screw Tour. Who all on there with you? It's me, the Dash Headlining. I'm opening up for him. And we got all um, like special guests. Whoever city we in, we're going to bring them out. The hottest artists and shit. There you go. We're bring them out. Have a good time with us. Show some love. You already know Drip Gang on that motherfucker. All through that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, 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 that's tomorrow, right? Yeah, that's yeah, it. yeah. Definitely. Definitely. You know, we had to squeeze y'all in. We usually film on Tuesdays, y'all, but we had to show the homies some love. They here right now. <laughs> now. <laughs> now. <laughs> now. <laughs> it doesn't even matter because at the end of the day, it's Monday and it's Mugger Monday today. Oh, yeah. Hey. Sure. Hey. You feel me? It's still working with the whole shit. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So, how long you been rapping, bro? Shit, like, seriously, mm -hmm. I want to say about like two years. Two I, years? Yeah, I seen some come up. Okay. I see my mans come up crazy or okay. rap, and I'm like, oh, I want to do this shit. Like, Hell yeah. I want to do this shit. Okay. Niggas is traveling the world, spending money. I want to do the same shit. All right. I don't have to look over my shoulder. So, probably like, yeah, like two years. Who'd you meet that got you involved with this tour that you want? Or his dad's been like a day one homie the whole time. That's my brother right there. You okay, so saying? yeah. I know that nigga since I was probably like in fifth grade. Okay. So yeah, I always been around, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. everything is natural and organic, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, you ain't eat nothing organic today. Stop lying. I'm a vegan. Yeah, vegan. <laughs> <laughs> what about your other interests, man? What else you interested in other than than, than, than spitting these bars and just um, going nuts and rocking these shows? Part of my language with bitches and weed. And, um, this 106, bro. I like you ain't food, got a part in your too, You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love food. I love like all hood spots. Yeah. Like if I could get a hood spot, I'm going to eat that spot, shit. So he going to be just like everybody uncle. You know that old nigga that got him like, he got like 20, he got like 20 <laughs> young bitches on the line. Every time you talk to him, he, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Got a little oh. younger brother, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm a new uncle too. Where's bomb? My nephew oh, was just up. born yesterday. You know Shout out saying? his nephew. Yeah. 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 I'm a little boy, Kai, man. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, man. So maybe you're gonna be chefing up or something. You think you might fuck around with yeah. the restaurant? I'm probably gonna be that nigga like when we on the road, cooking and shit. You know what I'm saying? Go crazy. I what? like to cook. I like like spaghetti. I do the basics. You know what I'm saying? Regular basic right. hood nigga shit. Fried chicken, spaghetti. Okay. Velveeta mac. You know Ooh. what I'm saying? You put your own cheese in there? Yeah, my own cheese. You gotta put your own cheese in that shit. Oh, yeah. little lorry seasoning and all that. Yeah. yeah. All that type shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm a chef, I'm chef ramen. You know what I'm saying? I could hook the ramen up like 32 different ways. You feel me? Oh, yeah. That's, the whole that's, country. That's, yeah, the noodles. <laughs> that's my nigga. The noodles, that's what, yes. Yeah. Make a whole lot of hook up for them shits. What you experienced so far since you've been here? Shit, we went to a party. I was fucked up, though. You don't remember how it was? Yeah, I've been sick since I got out here, really, so I ain't really been able to smoke with the homies, Damn. talk to no hoes, I ain't trying to be in no bitch's face, and my, you know what I'm saying? My shit all fucked up. So I've been sick and shit, but I like the city. The best part I've seen so far was driving up the block just now, seeing like Lake Michigan on my left. Yeah. That was the best part. Yeah, everybody loved Lake Shore Drive. That shit is fire right there. Yeah, That's man. Like, it reminds me of like some West Side Highway, Henry Hudson shit in New York. You gotta come back in the summertime, bro. You walk down Lake Shore Drive. Trust me, you talking about females, man. You just walk down the lake and just, you know, whoever looking at you, that hey, what's up? What y'all on? What's going on? You and know I say that in the whip, though. I said that in the whip, right? Yeah. Like, in the summertime, this shit probably crazy. Right? Yeah, not, say, I'm not from here. It's too, too much sauce. sauce. It's too much sauce. Ain't bro. no such thing as it's too, too much sauce. About to say that. <laughs> too much sauce. Come Niggas on, man. Say that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all the sauce. Yeah, too much sauce. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so shit, man. What you got coming up for the rest of the year? What you excited about? 
Keys open doors. That shit about to ring in your ear. It comes out April 6th. Mm -hmm. It's about to be on pre order Wednesday. Keys open doors right there. You see that shit? Yeah, mm -hmm. keys open doors. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Right That's what I'm excited for. Then my brother got a project coming out. Okay. Walk the Plank. Yeah. So I'm really excited for that one. That shit sounds stupid. Got visuals for y'all. We just gonna keep the ball rolling now. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, man. That's it. That's it. Man. That's it. Yeah, man. Like I'm finna pull up on a bike selling, selling vinyls and shit. Feel me? Shout out Dash. Shout out Manzi. What's the tour name one more time? Loose Screw Tour. Loose Screw Tour. You know I'm missing a couple of them motherfuckers, and I'm a couple marble short my damn self. 106 and Clark. Let them get your social media real quick. It's M U three G's A H. You know what I'm saying? M U G G G. A-H, that's on Twitter, that's on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to see y'all on Snapchat and shit, man. It's Twitter, Instagram. I'm going to throw, <laughs> throw you a curveball before you leave real quick. Throw you a curveball before you leave real quick. Answer honestly, who's your favorite porn star? Oh, oh. Cherokee. Okay, go crazy. <laughs> 106 o'clock. <laughs> that ass fat. We had it for 106 o'clock, man. Shout out to my man, boy. Tyron, to me. What the fuck? We at Block 37, home of the Iridium Lab, um, and we have the owner and the uh, commander in chief, let's say, uh, Platinum. What's happening, bro? Good, bro. Nice to see you as hey, always. Nice to see, see you as well, man. Um, the reason why I had to get this man on the show is, fuck the reason I just went here on the show. <laughs> y'all need to know, y'all need to know the right people. And he's been DIYing it the best way before all of this. So I feel like y'all should know like more about what he does, why he's here. How did you start already? What, what made you start? And yeah, let's start with that. Um, well, I mean, I always thought that the industry was missing um, some chemistry, you know? And um, I wanted to try to fill a void inside the fashion industry where we wanted to provide quality products for people at least for the rights. Um, so that's really where the foundation of the seed of the idea of the brand came from. And then just really formulating ideas, obviously designs, you know, fabrics, and you know, that's really the ultimate goal is for me to create something where people can shop and then they'll get the best quality product for like not a, not a crazy price. Like I used to window shop all the time, and I'll see all these amazing pieces that I could never afford. So I was like, man, I want to make some pieces that look amazing, and people can afford it, you know. Yeah, they fuck with it. Yeah. Hey. So, another question, man. Um, this this guy, these guys, these faces that you that you pick, um, these models, and, like the ambassadors and all these people, the main people that we know in this shit. How did you get with those people? Um, say, for instance, uh, Raphael, um, Agent Peace, uh, Roy French. Yeah. Like that. I mean, just it was you know it was all organic. You know, like we <laughs> honestly like we met. Somebody introduced us once we met, we just clicked, you know, we just continue to click and we continue to, as we grow in all the different wonderful things that we're doing, you know, we continue to build with each other yeah. and try to be a part of each other's journey. Yeah. You know, I think we're all on the ultimate journey trying to achieve our nirvana yeah. and, you know, we're, we figure out, we met, now we're doing it together. Real talk, real talk, real talk, real talk. Now you have a resale shop. Okay. What the fuck? They got all the hot shit, bro. Like, what, what made you want to get into this resale like, life, lifestyle, yeah. bro? Once again, just feeling that void, you know? It was something that the city that I live in didn't have. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of times people always, oh man, I gotta travel to New York, I gotta travel to LA to get these key pieces that they want. Right. And I figured, like, hey, why don't we create uh, a nest or an avenue for people to come in and Purchase these, you know, s s sold out items yeah, that you can't find anywhere. These type of yeah, items, yeah. 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 So that's cool. Anything you got coming up for the brand or for any events or any shows you want to mention? Um, yeah, definitely. We have a uh, fashion show coming up on the 28th of April. Um, we're going to spread all the information through our social media. Right. Just already in life. Beautiful 
projects coming in in the future. You know, we got a beautiful project with a main man right here. And uh, y'all gonna see. Yeah, I'm gonna let y'all see. We can't talk about it yet, but we got we got we got some crazy shit coming out that's gonna Bro. change change the game, change create the game. another lane, change lives, you know? change people's like thought process of how they design. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. You know? yeah. Let's talk about that, bro. Like, okay. <laughs> I was just kidding. We're not gonna talk about that yet. Okay. All right. But um, yeah, G, I appreciate um, I appreciate you for like stopping. Yeah, man. Uh, I appreciate you for like give me the opportunity to like you know help expand the fucking brand when it, when we started. Yeah. yeah. I, I appreciate you for giving me all the cool stuff on my videos and stuff. Yeah, man. I'm, I also appreciate you for giving me knowledge about putting me on the game. Yes, sir. One more tip for the kids that's trying to start some shit. How much money would you actually need to start your first photo line? Like, just money. Um, I think, um, man, I think, uh, that's a good question. Because I would say $500. Okay. You know, because you could take that 500 and sell all the stuff that you got and then flip it to $1,000 and then take that 1000 and flip it to 2000 Because that's really where it started for me. Like, I mean, I started off with, like, you know, my first product was a jacket. Mm. And I mean, like, I didn't have enough money to do a full run of them. So I did, like, just samples, and I put those samples on the right people, and the buzz was created from that. And then, you know, we just kept growing, like, a wildfire. And, um, you know, but I would say about $500. But I would say, I think even more important than money is really having a concrete idea. Mm. You know, giving somebody something different or something new or something fresh to actually be interested in yeah. and once you do that you know the money is going to come yeah. it's going to grow you heard it from the man himself fucking two stores um in a event space in chicago and then one in atlanta yeah. uh platinum him himself give me your information so they can find you um, right now you could find me at uh, platinum 23 on instagram it's my personal page um obviously Check out the brand before me. Uh, it's uh, at Iridium Life and uh, Iridium 77 Labs Design and Shop. 106 and Clark, Iridium, motherfucking Roy Fresh, motherfucking Platinum. I'm finna go smoke some weed because we can't smoke some in the mall. Peace, peace, peace. Daz, what's poppin'? What's poppin', my boy? Uh, you in Chicago for the first time, eh? Um, this ain't my first time in the city. It's my first time doing a show out here, though. You know, March 20th, we're doing a show at the Visit of Bourbon. Come pull up on there. Mm -hmm. Who you respect in Chicago the most? Who I respect the most? Not, like, the one person, like a five, top five, maybe. Top five people I fuck with in Chicago? Yeah. Personally, yeah, as artists. Personally. Personally? Both, man. Just like, just give me I'm a couple. I don't know King Louis, but he's definitely my favorite rapper from Chicago. Okay. Chance, that's my man. Thelonious, that's my man. Joe, Fresh Goods, is my man. Fresh Goods. It's my man. And Lucky. What makes you want to fucking start spitting, bro? Um, you, Manzi. Um, the niggas I was around just being young, you know what I mean? I grew up with y'all niggas. I, you was probably the first thing I heard with a song over a beat on, in a computer in yeah. real life. Yeah. That's a true fact. That's and it. then niggas started recording at Soleil House, and then, you know what I mean, shit progressed to where we at now. I'll show you. So, um, you got some shit, you got some shit in the works. You got screw. You got screw face, and you got loose screw. Yeah. What the fuck is the difference between the screw? Well, <laughs> There ain't no difference. It's both me. It's just I did screw face at one point in my life, and I did loose screw at another point. You know, it was it was a, it was an idea I had for a while, and probably over the past over the past two years, I just built on it. I feel like building on it, it became an album. I feel like you became more more of a loose screw. Why did you that shit? Yeah, you know, life 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 came. You know, life came and and the title fit. G. Yo, perseverance, yo motherfucking flex, how you run, how you move, it's just so sophisticated. 
Like, it's clean. I fuck with it. Um, what you gotta tell these little niggas in the streets that's coming up that's trying to get like you? It's possible. Work hard. Don't take no for an answer. And don't let niggas not pay you. There's always money outside. Me and my niggas can get it. You and your niggas can get it too. We gonna get ours first though. <laughs> Last words. <laughs> Last words. Yo, tell Tiana Trump I need that next. Send it up. <laughs> <laughs> 106 in Clark. Y'all know how we get out. 106 in motherfucking Clark. <laughs> Yo, 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 H-E-I-R-G-A-S-H on the social media, everybody ask Shorty and tell her though, I'm dead ass serious, my nigga, global gang ISIS, my nigga, y'all know what the fuck is up. Pot, look at Dash, are you fucking kidding me, Dash! Look at What the fuck? Dash is smoking weed on my balcony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that was a Kathy Griffin's house. <laughs> fuck, he's smoking blunts on my balcony. Yeah, I was at Kathy Griffin's house one day with the nigga Rocky. The nigga took me to Kathy Griffin's house. On some shit, just like, yo, come with me somewhere. I'm like, I bet. I'm gonna jump in the car, niggas pop the Kathy Griffin's house. <laughs> Thought I wasn't gonna smoke weed there. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Niggas be checking out for you. Like, I don't know. You know she be acting crazy too. I'm like, I'm like, you're crazy. I'm like, don't act crazy in front of a nigga like me. She's like, fuck it. You gonna Stop test her. You gonna test her. Like, you mean I'm a lax? I'm like, Multiplying the figures, only time that I fuck her is if I face on a pinup. Bust six packs at a time, I got the track on sit ups. Know my face called is flawless, flawless. I look like a bandit, a cowboy with a pistol. Snub sound like a cannon. I be getting so high, I think I'ma crash at the landing. Won't kill in a mansion, so what the devil I'm dancing. Have you rubber ball? Hey, think you want? Cause niggas scream. This bitch at Bourbon on Division, and we got the homie Thelonious Martin right here. So, y'all, if you listen to rap and you're not familiar with the resume, please just just feel free to be ashamed of yourself. But for the people that don't know that's watching this right now, tell them what you do, big dog. Oh, man, I make rap beats. <laughs> I produce for Action Bronson, Cameron, Smoke Dizza, uh, Chance the Rapper, Alex Wiley, uh, Joey Perp, Mick Jenkins, uh, in the list. Yeah, nah, I, honestly, wrong. I could do this for a while. I'm losing track. I'm forgetting people right now. So how'd you get into producing? Uh, I was like, I was like sixth grade. I had a tech teacher. For some reason, like the servers were down at the school. Yeah. We were in like the, the, the Mac computer lab. He was like, yo, yo, I'm going to teach y'all how, uh, how to use GarageBand. Okay. So I was like, all right, cool. But it wasn't until I was like 14, I heard Jay Dilla for the first time. I was like, yo, I want to do this. Okay. Dilla, Dilla, that's a good inspiration. All right, so you're from Chicago, right? Born and raised. What side of the city are you from, bro? Born in Chicago. My mom moved me out to New Jersey when I was five. Oh, shit. So I went to school out of Jersey, but I would always come back to Chicago for my summers and winters. That's what's up. So I split, I split my time. I mean, you come back, you come, oh, you from the south side, but hold on, so wait. Wow, you come back to the winter for like the holidays and shit because your family here? Yeah. Okay. The whole fam's here. Old okay, fans. yeah, because coming back to Chicago for the winter, that's a whole nother move. No, 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 that's no, when you want to leave. No, nah, we definitely here Christmas time. Yeah, you got to come see the fam, man. You got to show love. Oh, uh, always. It's all about fam. So, how long you been doing your thing from then to now? How many years has it been, would you say? I'd probably say I was like 15. Yeah. So now it's like 10 years now. That's what I'm saying. 10,000 hours. You need all 10,000 of them all motherfuckers. All 10,000. I definitely just put that on my Instagram the other day. You still out there on the East Coast or where you saying that? I'm here in Chicago, man. I yeah. love it. I went to Columbia College. Graduated from that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. uh, shit, I've been out for a couple years. Alright, so... In Chicago, everybody always talking about the pizza on the East Coast and shit. I went out there. Uh -huh. I wanted to impress. You know what I'm saying? Your pizza, wild trash. Like any pizza, yeah. any pizza that sells for a dollar, not good. <laughs> hey, you don't want the two dollar slice. What's yeah, your nah. favorite Chicago shit though? Oh, uh, Papa's. Uh, no, I was a popular thing of seafood. Uh, Pequod's. <laughs> Pequod's pizza. You Pequod. want the uh, Italian fiesta? Of course, Italian. I'm from the honey shit. You know what I'm saying? But Italian fiesta, wild cheesy. Hold up, y'all. Hold up.
We lock out. out. Can you pause that? We, we lock out. out. We good. Get this. Help. Help. Get this. Help. Get this. Help. I mean, we locked in. Hell. That's why this nigga. It's real nigga shit. <laughs> yeah, he been trying to open that door for five minutes. Like, for real shit. Please let me inside this motherfucker. Outside. Don't touch the door. All right. We not touch it. No. Now take it. No. Oh, oh, I'm lucky. Okay. That's on my now? No. Oh, Try now. That's all we can do. Like, we twisted it both ways. 106 at Clark. Sometimes you get locked in the green yeah. room. You hey, know what I'm saying? Fuck it. Shit be happening. It's a bathroom in here. It's a fridge in here. We in this bitch for weeks, possibly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 We got a balcony yeah. on that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It's a balcony, too. So oh, we got beer. We good. We get nitrophobic. We get nitrophobic. We get nitrophobic. Shit be crazy. So we gonna keep it going with that, man. Let me get a crazy story, bro. I know you got some crazy stories. You did so much. You did so many places. Yeah. I was just one time I had a show with Dash and uh. Shout out Dash. We was in the, you know, I got here before him. And we was in the green room and then the door had locked or some shit. Damn. And niggas couldn't get out that motherfucker. Niggas had to go all the way around the thing. I'm talking about right now, bro. This shit is bugging me out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not so many wild things happening on tour, but. Nah, this shit is weird. This shit is like yeah, that's crazy. I'm like wild high, so like this shit is like should be happening. Let me ask you a question. Did you drop that? Oh, he know about that though. He, I ain't get him. <laughs> Bro, I said outside. I got stupid. <laughs> I only smoke weed. What else you into besides producing? You got uh, some other things you're trying to break into? Uh, I might go try to do state of comedy. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Uh, the, like, improv. I did improv class when I was in high school, so I was like, you know, I was into it, but I never really like pursued it, pursued it, and like, took it anywhere. Yeah, and all South, all out South niggas funny because all we do is bake each other. Yeah. Say what up to the homie Steve. Steve, say what up to the people, man. Walk in the middle of the interview. 106 and Clark, we here in Chicago. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What you got I'm coming up this that. year that got you excited, though? Oh, man, I'm working on a bunch oh. of stuff. I can't say any titles, but yeah. we'll be here soon. Yeah. All right, ask some tips. Oh, that we going to ask for sure. The hell it is. You gotta have the cakes. All right, man, hit them with the social media real quick. Oh, everything King Thelonious. Twitter, Instagram, my Xbox gamer tag. If you want to smoke on the 2K, all that shit. All King Thelonious. You want to smoke on some 2K? How long are you here, bro? You say you stand here now, right? Back in yeah, Chicago. I, I, I've been in Chicago since I was 18. Shit. Okay, so how much you talk about for this 2K bet? My oh, niggas don't want to smoke good. You can see me online. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? You know what I'm saying? I got a little bread, big dog. I put 22 and shit. You know what I'm saying? Fuck something up real quick. You feel me? You know I'm going Steph Curry and them, though, all day. Oh, you want Big Bird? <laughs> That's all good. This nigga talking about $20. I'm definitely going Steph Curry. You oh, feel you me? You got to get your money's worth. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But I appreciate you, bro. Oh, I really all do. Love, man. 106 and motherfucking Clark. We had bourbon on division, and I'm drinking pap schmears. <laughs> Drip that shit. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 like that. Oh, <laughs> it's hard as fuck. <laughs> um, bro, you look great. I'm gonna say that. I know. I know everybody's saying the same shit. Um, Thank what? What made you get on that? What made you get on this? Like, this look, man. You look great, bro. Like on the on the shit. I was like pulling these little chicks, and they was like, you know, it was cool and shit. But I was looking at all these little Instagram model chicks. Like, why can't I pull one of those? And now I was like, probably because I'm fast as fuck. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And they be real with yourself, though. I had to be very but real, you real with yourself. Then DMs come on. You, you feel me? me? <laughs> I had to be. I was like, yo, bro, put the chicken down. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Fucking, uh, you know what I'm saying? That was basically it. Just general, like, I'm not trying to die no time soon, neither. You yeah. feel me? I'm trying to, like, have a long, prosperous life and shit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. So, so niggas gotta be, you know what I'm saying? Take notes about. Take Less notes. Fat. Talk to my nigga. Toast. Tonight. So you stay in California? Or are you back in Chicago? Not no more. I'm oh. back in this bitch. Okay. I'm back like I never left, though. No. Okay. Well, what's up, then? Um, 
Man, bro, uh, you fan, um, and you from the hood, bro. Like, we met. Low key, though. When we met, you was on 83rd, and I walked over to your crib. I was on 78th. Was I not on 83rd? No, you was on 83rd. You talking to me like I wasn't on 83rd. No, you was on 83rd. Was I or was I not on 83rd? What accumulate, accumulated your style to be so different and, like, wild and, like, abstract? Uh, compared to where you from, you know what I'm saying? Cause like a lot of a lot of drill shit come out of 830, you know what I'm saying? These are the facts, these are the facts. <laughs> Fucking my dad went to an all-white high school, right? In the 70s. This is like the deep dive, right? Mm -hmm. So fam ass was around all these white kids and they was listening to like Led Zeppelin and shit and like all these rock bands. And at the time, disco was the black music. Like when my dad would be in his neighborhood, he'd be listening to disco and shit. He thought that shit was trash. Word. So he started listening to this, you know, very white people friendly rock music and shit. And that ended up being the shit that I grew up on because my dad ended up liking that shit, you know? Yeah, group. So, like, you know, just listening to other stuff, you know what I'm saying? What would you describe your style then? Fucking that. Like, like, give me a real, <laughs> give me your own name, John. Pimp Glitter and the Lesbians. Is my fake band name. Pimp Glitter and a lesbian. Like, I'm Pimp Glitter. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. I'm Pimp Glitter and then my band is the lesbian. So it's like Pimp Glitter and the lesbian. But it's all niggas though? Yeah. They go hard. I feel like this is like a really weird take. Bruh. Every man is damn near a lesbian. I'm a lesbian. I mean, I'm, a lesbian. Every I'm damn near a lesbian. I'm a lesbian. I love women. I love women. You know what I'm saying? So. So yeah, for we sure. are the lesbians. We are the lesbians. Stories, my yeah. nigga. Wow. I was finna call our shit Grizzly Pear instead of Grizzly wow. Bear. <laughs> it was finna be a pear okay. with like bear arms and legs and a bear's head on it. Okay. But his like torso is a pear. Okay. And it's gonna be called Grizzly Pear. I can Grizzly tell Bear, y'all. I can tell you don't fully feel me, but in theory that shit was wrong. Yeah. Stories, my nigga. Like, it's bizarre, really but to but me, I'm I, feel like, I feel like you I'm gotta be, I feel like you gotta be kind of bizarre to like really like pop off a little bit though. Niggas gotta be like, what the fuck is that? And I'll be like, bro, you ain't ever seen no grizzly bear with a pair body before? It gets the people going. It fucking gets it's the people going. provocative. It's <laughs> fucking provocative, dude. Um, man, I'm fake. I'm faded. This is like my fourth one of these. Stories, my nigga. What's coming up next, nigga? Bro, a lot. I'm low key working on a fucking book. And I'm low key in the middle of an album. And I'm low key the brand coordinator of cool, uh, Congruent Space over here, what? which is like a dope gallery in town. If you're in Chicago, you should check it out. Um, I'm seeing um, the collaborations at Congruent Space with me and this nigga soon. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's hot, man, man. Like, we was out here, we was out here fucking just being reckless, just being goofy as hell. We was jumping before everybody else was jumping. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. tripping, like making the best. Oh, Fuck, like, niggas was like, damn, bro, can you put out some towels or something? For Dripping like that, and I'm like, bitch, I ain't got time for that. I'm fucking dripping. Don't you see? Don't you see? Don't you see? Give these kids that want to be like you or like have a great path. Um, some last final thought words and shit. You know what I'm saying? So they can do All right, serious time. I'm a little drunk, but I'm gonna try and pull it together, man. Real shit. Believe me, your motherfucking self. Yeah. Cause like motherfuckers around you, they can't see what's in your head. You feel me? They don't know what's going on up here. They don't see the vision, you feel me? They might even say they see the vision, but they can never truly see it because it's up here, you feel me? So you gotta manifest what's up here, man. Because your only loyalty is to what's up here, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that, you know what I'm saying? And it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be difficult as fuck. And like, motherfuckers gonna be like, you might hit some adversity. Some shit you might do might not go the way you thought it was gonna go. And you're gonna be like, damn. Maybe I shouldn't do this no more. Nah, fuck that. Fuck all of that. Bitch. All of those thoughts, you gotta quiet those, you gotta stare those, you gotta stomp those out. Yeah. And if you ain't trying to slide, don't be acting like you is. Yeah, if you ain't finna slide, don't tell me you finna slide. I can just tell somebody else to slide. God damn. Big facts. Hey, Major Ale facts. Hey, Alex Wiley, motherfucking village. Uh, motherfucking. Drip set, my fucking Roy French, 106 and Clark. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate you, my nigga. This is rare. I hope you know it's gonna be rare. Very rare. Very, very rare. This shit is bleeding on the plate, my guy. I'm telling you. Um, yeah, that's it. He don't even do interviews. Nigga, look, we got this nigga. To be honest, I don't. Like, I, gee, Forbes hit me up the other day. Mm -hmm. They was like, 
you ever comment on so and so? I was like, no, I don't. DIY Chicago based collective that supports everyone willing enough to create their own ways. If you have any gadgets, prototypes, inventions, or new toys you would like to be displayed hands on, or you would like to come on the show, get interviewed, or join our live studio audience, please contact our Instagram via DM at Password Chicago. Thank you.